Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Tekianshi. In today's video, we are going to talk about how you can transform a simple basic looking dashboard into something that really looks professional in just 10 minutes. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's begin by using the sample Superstore workbook that's available as default in your dashboard. This is the dashboard that we are going to transform in this particular video. We have the KPIs on the top, then there is a map that shows the profit ratio which is color coded and then there are two timelines which are shown basis dimensions and measures. Let's go ahead and modify the first one. I'm duplicating the tab over here. To make this tab a little bit better, what we are going to do is we are going to pull the measures into the text. Next, we are changing the marks to a shapes mark and then make it to an entire view. Next, let's go ahead and bring the labels down. With that, you can see how it's transforming and then pull the measure names into shape. You can pull any shapes from your library that you already have preloaded. I have some of these shapes that I already loaded into them. They're abstract shapes and I usually make use, make use of these when I'm dealing with KPIs. So this is how it's starting to look. Next, I'm just going to make sure that my measure value is one point bigger than the measure name and it's highlighted in a nice color so that it's the eyes could go over there. So now let's pull this particular sheet that we just built onto our dashboard and remove the existing one. I'm hiding the title and if I increase the width of it, this is how the KPI would look like, but we don't need the header. So let's hide that. And we might also have to reduce the size of the shape. But before that, let's add a small title onto our dashboard and also make this particular thing as a floating container. So let's pull a text object onto your dashboard and give a nice heading to the dashboard. Make sure that the heading is bigger compared to every other thing on the dashboard. So the heading should be the biggest font and is the area that's highlighted well so that anybody who comes onto the dashboard knows exactly what the dashboard is about. I'm just making a few aesthetic changes over here with that we should be good with the heading yeah I think the size looks a little smaller so we'll just go and edit that and also change the font that's it now we are going to put the KPI sheet just below the executive overview make sure it's wide enough and it is also properly center aligned. If it's not, then you should be doing that. Let's reduce the size of the images or the icons. And then let's adjust this a little bit better so that the icons and the numbers are well under each other and they are not hiding anything behind them. Once this is done, we'll go ahead and go to the map We'll add a title which is missing right now onto the map and then go to this particular map and then pull the regions onto the color shelf. So search for regions and pull that onto the color shelf. Once you do that, a default color is assigned to each of the region. If you like, you can use the same or you want, then you could also change these colors. Right now I'm editing these colors to the colors that I think would go well with my dashboard. So that's what exactly I'm doing and then hit OK. So each of your regions now have a specific color, which is something we will make sure that the entire dashboard follows in terms of regions. Next, we will add a new sheet where we'll pull the regions onto the row shelf and next we'll pull the sales onto the column shelf. So this gives us region by sum of sales 
and also pull the region onto the colors. As I said, we'll keep these colors consistent across the dashboard. You can hide any additional lines and also modify the header to make sure that it is uh, bold enough and also is a little darker so that you, uh, anybody who comes on the dashboard is able to see it well. We don't need the header so we'll hide that and this sheet is also ready. We'll just call this as sales by region and then pull this on onto our dashboard as well. We'll also make sure that the heading of the geo map is updated. Let's pull this on and we'll pull the legend and make that as floating over here. And then let's remove any of these other things that there we're not, we won't be needing any of it. So yeah, I've just distributed both the sheets equally. So also you can use your mouse uh, to go in and out of the map, use the wheel on the mouse to do that. I just adjusted that as well. Now we only need one line chart at the bottom. So I'm removing the other one. Let's go to the line chart. And now let's do one thing, pull the regions onto the color shelf and then remove the segments from the row shelf. This gives us the line chart that we need, which is bifurcated by regions. Yeah, you can also call this as an area chart or a line chart. Let's also edit the heading. Now we almost have the entire dashboard. We just want to make sure everything is consistent around here. Like the headings of all the things on the dashboard are of the same, uh, same font, same size, uh, exactly like they look alike. And also adding a little bit background to it, like a small um, gray container outside the dashboard. A uh, gray color to the container outside the dashboard really makes sense. So I'm just picking up the entire container and then giving it a background. Similarly to the profit by region, let give, let's give it a background as well. Now finally, let's go ahead and select the entire dashboard and then make sure that there is a nice border around it. So we'll give a thick border around the dashboard. With that, we almost have the entire dashboard ready. Just make sure that all the sheets are filterable so you can use them to slice and dice. And that's all. This is how your dashboard would finally look like. If you click on any of these, like the sales by region thing, and you click on East, then everything would filter on basis what you're selecting. You can also drill down from region to a further granularity over there, and then even use that as a filter. With that, our dashboard transformation is complete where we are able to transform a basic looking dashboard which looked something like this to a more professional dashboard which has a good story flow and lays out the entire user interface in a better way. So this is how even you can transform your basic looking dashboard into something that really looks nice and jazzy. All that you have to do is use the right colors give enough white space, make sure to use some icons as KPI, and definitely don't forget to use containers. That's all that I have for you in this particular video. If you liked it, then you know what you have to do. Go ahead and comment that you like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and do like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Till the next one, stay tuned. See you again. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.